Welcome to BYU-Idaho's Math Study Center and the Pathway Math Course. In these videos, you'll meet three faculty members at BYU-Idaho. First, Rich Llewellyn is the Math Study Center Director. He founded the program as it now works. Brother Ostefan O'Shaughnessy is one of the most energetic teachers you will ever see and will help with the student engagement. And Brother Daniel Baird, who will help with many of the explanations. Welcome to BYU-Idaho's Developmental Math Program. You are joining the hundreds of students here on campus and the thousands of students around the globe who are participating in developmental math at BYU-Idaho. My name is Brother Rich Llewellyn. My students call me Brother Rich. I'm excited to have you join us. Notice that I mentioned the word developmental. What is developmental math? In the dictionary, developmental is defined as the process of bringing about the capabilities and possibilities of a person, to bring them to a more advanced or effective state, to bring about growth and progress. That's what this program is all about, is helping you grow and progress by establishing a foundation in your basic math skills. 40% of entering college freshmen or new college students struggle with math. They feel inadequate in their math skills. They've had bad experiences in the past and their confidence is low. Our goal is to help you develop your fundamental math skills and grow and progress in math and in your confidence. If you are a student who has struggled with math, when we take something we're not strong in, and do as the Lord has counseled us in the Book of Mormon in Ether chapter 12, and we make it a strength, we learn two things. One, we learn about ourselves. We learn about our own possibilities and capabilities, what we can accomplish. The second thing we learn is we learn about our Heavenly Father. We learn of His strengths and of His possibilities and capabilities for us. It's such a powerful opportunity. Brigham Young once stated, work as if everything depends on you, and pray as if everything depends on God. We admonish you, I admonish you, to work your hardest, take advantage of this program, pray and ask the Lord to help you, and as you do so, and you make weak things become strong, you will serve the purpose of this program in developmental math in becoming a more capable person and learning of the possibilities that lie ahead for you. Hello everybody and welcome to 100G. My name is Brother O'Shaughnessy. I'm excited to work with you this semester in this 100G Pathway course. The purpose of my involvement in this course will be to bring you into our classrooms here on campus. One of the things that we often do is involve students in the learning process. In fact, the BYU-Idaho learning model states that you should be a participant in the learning and even have opportunities to teach one another. So as we are going along through this course, you're going to be watching different instructors teach you content. And then, after learning a certain type of content and material, I'll pop into our videos and give you guys opportunities to practice problems. I'll usually yell out something like, to the boards, because that's what we do in uh, classes here on campus. And that's going to give you an opportunity to come to the board virtually and participate in problems. How it'll work is you'll have something like this, a notebook. You're going to need a notebook for this class. This will be what I, I call your video notebook. Whenever I say to the boards, you're going to want to take out your video notebooks. And what's going to happen is I will give you opportunities to practice some problems, usually two or three practice problems. I'll usually tell you, okay, it's time to go to the boards, take out your notebook. At that time, you can pause the video and do the three problems that I have given you. Practice those problems, and once you're done, you can unpause the video and then check your answers. It'll be a great way to get you involved in the learning process and let you have opportunities uh, to practice the content and become masters of it. We're excited that you're going to be part of this class. Let me introduce myself. My name is Brother Baird. I'm here in Rexburg on the BYU-Idaho campus where I teach about the same class. We're glad to have you. 
in this class. Now, I've spent a lot of time thinking about these, you as students, where you might be and the conditions you're in, and trying to teach math in a way that is understandable and easy for you to, for you to get and progress through. There are a few things that I'd like to tell you about this course as you start. The first one is why you're here. The mission of BYU-Idaho is not listed out first as academics. Certainly, we're going to teach you math in this class, but the first mission of BYU-Idaho is to create disciples. The second is to make sure there's academic growth and development. Um, but really, this first part is so that you can learn the characteristics, develop those skills that are necessary for you to go out and build up the kingdom. That's what this course is about. And so we're going to explain a little bit more about what will happen uh, during this course. We're going to teach you some algebra. We're going to teach you some financial stuff, some savings, debt, um, budgeting, and expenses. Um, and try to get you really geared up for future math classes or whatever wherever your life may take you. Here's how the course is going to run. In a week, where you're first going to have a video. I'm going to be on that video and I'm going to try to teach you some math. Teach it just like I do here on campus in the United States. And uh, we're going to run through and that'll introduce some stuff. You'll then have an assignment. Call it assignment A. And that'll be the first assignment that you do. Then you're going to take a quiz. Then, during this part of the week, you're going to work on an assignment together. You're going to collaborate with others, and they may be strewn all over the world. We call this assignment B, and you're going to collaborate. You're going to get on there and, and do a problem and ask a question and find out how other people are doing it. You're going to work together. Then, you're going to have another assignment here that you'll do on your own, assignment C, and then you'll have a quiz or a test here at the end. So every week you're going to follow this pattern. Now, in connection with this being the first mission, I want to tell you a little story, a little experience I had. I was able to go and talk to Elder Hammond. He was in Area Authority 70 in the Rexburg area. And I was, I was debating what, what the role of, of groups and and whether education's more individual or it's more uh, collective type thing. And so I asked him, in your opinion, what is it? And he made this statement. He said, education is first an individual matter and then a collective matter. We've set up this course for you to first do this individually. Take some time to learn it, to struggle with it. Maybe you need to connect up with a tutor and learn it as best as you can. And here, this is where you're able to work together and help each other grow. In fact, if you do this really well, these videos and me, we're going to be kind of irrelevant to you. That would be a wonderful thing to have happen. If you already know the math, if you come into this class and you're like, ah, I know this stuff, good, you fulfilled this part of the purpose of the class. We still have this one, which means it's your job to help everybody else get as far as they can possibly get. So you'll be able to ponder and prove on everything that you've done up until that point. So, let's get down to business with the first assignment. We're going to be talking about some of the provident living guidelines that the church has put out for smart financial stewardship that you guys are going to be able to do. Uh, in order to do that and the algebra, we have to go back to the basics and make sure everybody understands what really starts uh, their foundation for math. So, your first assignment is the arithmetic facts. One plus one. So the goal of this first assignment is to make sure those come out of your brain, just poof, automatically. Nine plus 13, 14 plus seven, 13 plus six, and you just are able to memorize them. Same thing goes with some multiplication facts. One times one, one times two, all the way up to one times 15, down to 15 times one, all the way over to 15 times 15. Now many of you have done these before, maybe going up to 10 times 10 or 12 times 12. Here we really want you to push yourself. Get up to 15 times 15. Learn these guys. If there are any that you don't already know between these two, make some flashcards for them. That's going to be that in the first assignment, that next video is coming up. Um, we'll run through how to do that and how to use them well. But these are going to be 
kind of the harder ones. I'll tell you why we do this. When you started to learn to read, everybody has to go through and learn the letters of the alphabet, what sounds they make. And that's great when they do it, but that's not sufficient. So if I were up here and I held up a card that said, what's that letter? An A on there. What sound does it make? A ah or a. Uh. Good. And then take another one. H. O is an O or an A uh sound, depending on what letter it's in, what word it's in. R, what sound does that make? S. And you keep going through all of them. And then at the end, I say, well, where did the horse run off to? You realize that there's more than that. These are not the end goal. These are kind of like letters put together that we're going to explain larger concepts of algebra and finance that you're going to need these understood very quickly in order to understand the bigger concepts. So that's where your first assignment leads you. Thank you.